Gede. <laughs> out snowshoeing and uh, I was able to get a shot on a little rabbit here, snowshoe hare, so it's actually a pretty, pretty, big guy. pretty good one. Perfect head shot right through the brain. So, it'd take like a minute to die even if it's a brain shot. It must just be nervous reaction or something, but anyways, I'm going to gut it have rabbit stew tonight. There's a ton of sign of them, but it's pretty deep snow and he was just hanging out on top of a little bluff thing, a little pile of something or another and popped him. insane I'm not sure how I just did that but uh, there's all sorts of trees that are down and whatnot and I just rode through them covered my visor and uh, got whacked in the face but this helped a lot so now I'm gonna go through and clear the trees there's just brush and stuff hanging over the trail Lindsay followed me up so let's hope that she uh, she made it I think I can hear her all right, well, it's uh, <clears throat> January 4th, and uh, I got the day off of money work, so I'm out here at the property. Uh, I've been plowing like crazy. We got about three feet of snow, and uh, so far I've kept the driveway fairly cleared. Um, as you can see, it's just kind of berming up everywhere, though, and we're supposed to get even more snow than the next few days so so I brought uh, tools and uh, I'm gonna let this snow add up for a while before I plow it again but I brought some tools and I'm going to be working on the woodshed cabin thing uh, I got some siding milled up for it the sawmills buried I keep shoveling it out but it just keeps getting buried and I can't quite keep up with it so I use those uh, slabs to make some board and batten siding here. Um, so obviously I'm going to have to dig those out. Hopefully get some of the siding up. And Well I got to keep the camera underneath the uh, roof here but basically I'll be working on that side and just putting vertical boards all the way around and then battens on top of those. I didn't bring my compressor because it's kind of cumbersome so I'm using screws. I'm going to some fine tipped uh, like deck screws to screw them in so it should work good. And here's my new cordless saw I got for Christmas so pretty excited to test this out. I'm going to kind of show you what I got going on here. There's about three feet of snow I would say. I mean, it's up to about well, just over my waist. But I'm going to put these boards all the way across this just right next to each other and then it's what they call board and batten and then we'll put a little strip over the front of those and these are just scrap boards like you know nothing's square on this building because it's made out of all scrap but hey it's free pretty much so
one. Got a few of them on there. I'd leave the camera out here, but it's snowing and I don't have anything to cover it. Getting more done here. I got quite a few rows, so my camera battery's dying. It's really cold out. Well, I got up here a few minutes ago to the property and it snowed all night. <clears throat> like two or three consecutive days of snow so we got a good amount and uh, I ran the plow I got one row done uh, and then I came back on the second swath here and it was freaking just so much snow that it, the truck went off the driveway so it doesn't look too bad but I've been shoveling and it's high centered now. So <laughs> I'm up here alone too. So I think I might try to dig it out for a while and then uh, put the tractor to it. I don't know. I need I need someone else to drive the freaking truck or the tractor while I do it. So we'll see. I think if I could hook the tractor onto it, I could pull it kind of forward from where it's at. So I don't know. Probably a lot of shoveling and Hopefully I don't get more stuck. Whew. Holy smoke, so finally got the truck out after like four hours of shoveling and trying and getting stuck and shoveling and trying and getting stuck just in different spots. Cutting trees down. Yeah, I had to cut down a bunch of trees that were pinned up against the freaking truck. And if I would have just done it in the beginning, it wouldn't have bent up my truck a bunch but I had to take the plow off because look at what we got stuck in it's just like for some reason our driveway has a huge like crevasse right here or whatever so that's convenient for when you're plowing just a mess we had to cut all these boards and shovel and pack snow man it was a nightmare but we got out Here's the damage to the truck. Oh, it just creamed the side of the truck, which isn't a big deal, but. Snowstorm. 2022. Got the plow all hooked up and got the driveway plowed. Can't really tell, but it's like five feet deep. See how high the snow is. I'm just on flat ground here. We got these tunnel things just carved out everywhere. And then Lindsay's on the shed. It's literally like all the way up to the roof. There's nowhere else for it to go. It's pretty crazy. It's a gigantic Hi. pile of snow. Fun stuff. Well, I'm out here uh, plowing in this blizzard. Uh, got a bunch of plowing done today. Now I'm heading to Springdale to do a few, to do a lady's house that I do out there. It's still snowing and uh, yeah, just trying to make some money while, while the snow is here. It's getting kind of wet, so just another day of plowing. that one headlight. Well, we're on our way up to the mountains. We rented another cabin. Uh, this time it's by a lake, so we're gonna do some ice fishing and we brought the snowmobiles and our gear and some cross-country skis for uh, hopefully, <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do a little cross-country skiing. So the snow is not great, but uh, it'll be fun. And then one of the days I want to snowmobile up to this backcountry lake. It's going to be pretty cool. I've been there on my motorcycle, so I'm hoping I can get there on the snowmobiles and possibly ice fish. But mainly I just want to get there because it's kind of a hard, hard trip to get there. So anyways, it's about that.
made it. Here's the sled and all the stuff. Here's the cabin we're staying in. Pretty nice little cabin. Got two beds and a wood stove. We have a full kitchen here. Uh, doesn't have running water in the winter, but and the heat plate thing. Uh, the best part is the view of the lake and fellow snowmobilers. I'm gonna do some ice fishing out there as soon as I get set up. Barely see it. There's a tent right there. Guys, ice fishing. They're catching some trout and perch. So, anyways, yeah. gotta get loaded, unloaded. Just enjoying the nice warm cabin. We ate at the restaurant and Lindsay had chicken fried steak, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes and green beans and I had steak with baked potato and green beans. And pal took a nap. Oh, pal. And I got a bunch of firewood in here stocked up. It's not gonna be super cold or anything but Well, it's early morning. I got a big pot roast put in here. Some carrots, potatoes, onions, garlic, seasonings, and a big old roast. So, putting that in for six or eight hours or whatever, we're going to go snowmobiling. Getting the sleds off. Getting ready to go snowmobile to that lake we were talking about. Snow's actually not too bad. It's been uh, pretty warm, but but it's uh, I don't know, kind of not soggy, but just, it's not super icy, so that's good. I hunt here in the fall.
came from that way. Good stick in the road. We're going that way. Big hairpin came from that way, going that way. Lindsay's having to pack her sled with some snow because it's occasionally getting an overheating light, but could be a faulty sensor too. Well, we came from that way, and that's the groom trail right there. Um, so we're gonna, the way to the lake that we're trying to get to is up this ungroomed trail, about six miles to another tee. So we're gonna give it a shot. No one's been back here, so there could be trees. There's quite a bit of snow. I'm gonna let Lindsay lead because her sled is overheating. She needs a little bit of snow up in the tracks. The groomed road isn't doing it, so we'll see. Well, we're like, 30 miles in the backwoods now. And we're only like a half a mile or a mile from the lake. But we had, we hit a little impasse here. Jeez, it's deep. So we should go into that? Maybe, but then we'd kind of be in the ditch too. I don't know what that's like. Like what if, anyways, we're trying to saw this out of the way, so. I mean, it's so close right here. Maybe if we move this shit. Well, we decided to turn around because it's not worth not worth it. We don't know what's in front of this tree and further. And if we get stuck out here, we have no service, and and we'd be f just screwed, man, trying to get out of here on one sled because it's kind of a hard ride out. So. We're turning around even though we don't want to. Wish we could make it to the lake, but it's just not smart. Most likely we'd make it, but if something happened, we'd be overnighting it or hiking out 30 miles in this five feet of snow. So anyways, we'll get Lindsay unstuck here. We won't. Hell yeah. Let's pop one. Woo! Lindsay had one too. another one but I didn't have the camera on me. So got the two pole set up going on now. A couple bites but oh, Daddy got a fish in here. In your traps, huh? Whack and stack them. Yay!